Top Home Remedies for Kids Before we begin, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons as well as the notification bell to be updated to future health-related videos. Now let's start. Most children at some point in their life will be struck by a problem, this is a sad reality that cannot be avoided. Trying to find the best home remedies that are suitable for children is not always easy, the sensitive little bodies sometimes find that home remedies are not always agreeable. However, if you are careful and always work to ensure you are selective in the ingredient that you choose, you can typically find that it really is possible to use home remedies for children. A bit of well-placed effort can produce fabulous results, but knowing which are the best for children is not always easy. We shall dive into some of the most common problems for children and give you a peek at the top remedies for them. You probably know and realize if you send your child to school at some point they are likely to come home with lice. This is an epidemic that very few children are able to avoid. In order to really ensure you avoid this complication you would need to shave your child's head and this is not something that most parents are quite eager to do. An affordable alternative to this problem is to instead use either olive oil or mayonnaise to spread across the entire scalp and hair. This would serve to suffocate the lice providing you an extremely effective and affordable remedy. Another common problem with children is splinters. After all, most parents spend days and weeks of their time asking children to stop playing with dangerous items, put their shoes on and so forth. If you have a splinter that is needing to be removed applying a bit of wood glue to the skin and allowing to dry is a simple and pain-free way to get started. Now once the glue actually dries you should be able to slowly lift the glue away from the skin, taking with it the splinter that has been causing problems. This is much quicker, easier and nicer to do than digging around in the skin with a pair of tweezers. One common crisis that strikes all homes at some point is a burn. Regardless of whether little Timmy walked across hot pavement, little Susie touched the stove, or even little Mike stayed out in the sun too long. There are so many ways to get burned and kids have a knack for finding them all. In order to really ensure that you are getting the best relief from the burns it is necessary to look towards relief that is soothing. This commonly from the store comes in the form of a gel or lotion with aloe vera included. Rather than spending excessive amounts of money on lotions and gels, buying an actual aloe vera plant is a much better investment. An alternative to aloe vera if you are out having a picnic or barbecue is mustard though. Both aloe and mustard are extremely effective in helping to eliminate the burning sensation that accompanies a burn and can make it much more comfortable to handle until it can be treated properly. Even better, both of these remedies are safe to use even on the youngest children and are able to easily survive in any household while causing virtually no allergic reactions. Many children also develop toothaches as well. Of course, most children will wait to develop the toothache until the dentist is closed for the weekend also which means you generally have to wait at least a few days before you are able to actually do anything to protect yourself from the constant cries of pain. In order to relieve the pain your child is feeling and also hold on to your own sanity you can take a small cotton ball and soak it in vanilla extract. This would then be applied directly onto the sore area and allowed to remain for a while. Once this is done, it will typically provide you with a substantial improvement and allow you to function for a while until the dentist is able to see your child. Thank you for watching and see you on the next video.